Let's go now to Fox 10's Lee Peck. He is on Pensacola Beach. Lee, what are conditions like there tonight? Well, not too bad, Bob. Uh, lifeguards tell me there were no beach rescues today, but since we've been here, the flags uh, have changed from yellow to red, meaning the water's now off limits ahead of Fred's arrival. For the most part, Sunday fun day uninterrupted by the Fred factor. It's really not that bad. Like the waves are a little crazy, but they're not bad. Yellow flags flying on Pensacola Beach, giving beachgoers a wild ride. Super rough, like I swim all the time, but it's, it's still super rough. It's like a mad lazy river. Yeah, yeah. like a mad lazy <laughs> river. For real. The Gulf Coast getting a two for one this week. First comes Fred, then Tropical Storm Grace not far behind. I think Fred's going to be a piece of cake, but Grace I'm totally terrified of because Grace is a little more scary because I think that Fred is going to make a spot for Grace. While they expect Fred to be a rainmaker, they also know never underestimate Mother Nature. Oh, absolutely. Everybody knows the routine, especially if it's a tropical storm. They're going to stay here. But if it's like, you know, cat, maybe like two, we're going to evacuate, obviously. But I think for now they're good. As soon as they hit the Gulf, you don't know what's going to happen. It can turn, it can change, it can strengthen, it can weaken. And that's all you can expect. And a few closures to tell you about. In addition to Fort Pickens, the Gulf Islands National Seashore set to close the Okaloosa area, the Opal Beach Complex, and Highway 399 at 10 p.m. tonight ahead of Fred's arrival. They also tell me they'll have lifeguards, a full staff, patrolling the beaches tomorrow, making sure no one gets in the water. Live tonight from Pensacola Beach, Lee Peck, Fox 10 News.